Finally the Grand Prix assignments have been announced. In this video we will talk about more news from the women's discipline and what we know about the 2022-2023 season so far. Assignments, the competition calendar, program announcements, and more. The season hasn't even started and so much has happened already. I've already made a video covering what we know so far, so I recommend watching that as well. If you are interested in that or any particular topics, links and timestamps will be included in the description box below. Let's see what's new and what we have to look forward to. It took a while, but we finally have a confirmed Grand Prix schedule and assignments announced. The calendar has been finalized and remains basically the same as I mentioned in the previous video. We do, however, now know, the official names of the two added events the MK John Wilson Trophy hosted in Sheffield, England, and the ESPO Grand Prix hosted in ESPO, Finland. I'm really excited to see how these two events will be like, especially knowing the assignments. Speaking of which, let's move on to assignments. I think we've all been patiently waiting to see what this season will look like, given how unusual it is and now we finally know. Here are the assignments for this upcoming Grand Prix, let's break them down by each event. The Grand Prix will begin with Skate America and will include skaters such as E. Zhu, Marilena Kittermills, Nicole Schott, Reno Matsu E.K. World Champion Kori Sakamoto, Hain Lee, Yun Jong Park, Austin Yun, Ekaterina Kurakova, Amber Glenn, Junior World Champion Isabeau Levito and another spot for Team USA that has yet to be determined. This opening round of the Grand Prix has a lot of strong competition and many things to look out for. World Champion Kori Sakamoto will go into this competition as the favorite, she has had great performances at Skate America in the past and is likely to keep up with that trend given her recent amazing form. Isabeau Levito likely won't make it easy for her, but this will be Isabeau's senior Grand Prix debut, so it will be interesting to see how she copes with pressure. Amber Glenn and Hayne Lee could also be threats if either of them can land a triple axel. But it's wide open, so many skaters stand a chance at the podium and this goes for so many events this season. One last thing I'd like to mention, it'd be nice to see Yi Zhu do well at this competition considering how hard the Olympics were for her. It'd be great to see her come back strong. Overall, I'd say this is a great beginning to the Grand Prix season. Moving on to Skate Canada will feature skaters such as Ekaterina Ryabova, Gabrielle Dalemin, Madeline Skisas, Alison Schumacher, Aliska Brezinova, Nina Petrokina, Wakaba Higuchi, Rika Kihira, Johanna Yokoi, Unsu Lim, Young Yu, and Lindsay Thorngren. This event will also be really interesting. With Gabrielle Dalemin deciding to continue to compete. Talented junior from last season, Lindsay Thorngren makes her senior Grand Prix debut. Rika Kihira's highly anticipated comeback. Wakaba Higuchi suffered a shin injury going into Worlds, but hopefully it'll be fully healed by then. However, I'd still say, Wakaba Higuchi and Young Yu are favorites going into this competition due to their outstanding performances last season. Ultimately, this event will likely come down to the battle of the triple axel. Who will go for it and who will land it? It'll be very exciting to watch. Round 3 will be Grand Prix de France and will include Olga Mikutina, Luna Hendricks, Maria Matsara, Leah Serna, Manakawa Bay, Rino Matsuike, Rian Sumiyoshi, Yelim Kim, Hain Lee, Lindsay Van Zundert, Audrey Shin, and they to be determined spot for France. Olga Mikutina has improved so much in recent seasons and hopefully we will see that growth continue. Japanese upcoming star Rion Sumiyoshi will make her senior Grand Prix debut, it will be interesting to see whether she attempts her quad toe loop or not. This will be the first major international competition Manakawa Bay will compete at with her new coach, Mihoko Higuchi. Hopefully she can regain the form she had at the beginning of last season and land her amazing triple axel. Yellen Kim, Hain Lee, Rino Matsu E.K. all stand with a good chance at the podium too but I think Luna Hendricks will be tough to beat. Apart from Kaori Sakamoto, Luna Hendricks was one of the strongest competitors to the Russians last season. She even won her world silver medal while injured. If she can keep up her form from last season, she stands a great chance. 
The new MK John Wilson Trophy will be featuring skaters such as Nina Pinzerone, Natasha McKay, Anastasia Gubanova, Nicole Schott, Maimihara, Young Yu, Ekaterina Kurakova, Julia Sauter, Alexia Paganini, Gabriella Izzo, Isabeau Levito and Brady Tenel. Brady Tenel was a big surprise to see on this list. She has been hard at work trying to make her comeback, but she is still not at 100% fitness, she said in a recent interview. More details later on in the video. It's good she has her spots later on the Grand Prix which will give her more time to recover and prepare. Although it would be wonderful to see her make her comeback, I wouldn't be shocked if it was too soon, and she withdrew. Fingers crossed, everything goes well for her. Ekaterina Kurakova has been training a triple axel and it's looking good from what we've seen so far, it will be interesting to see if she attempts it at any of these events. Young Yu, Isabeau Levito and Maimihara I think will be the favorites going into this competition. Maimihara can often get overlooked but she is one of the strongest and most consistent skaters out there, do not underestimate her. Anastasia Gubanova is also really strong, too. Round 5 will be the NHK Trophy including skaters. Olga Mikutina, Ekaterina Ryabova, Nina Petrokina, Wakaba Higuchi, Kaori Sakamoto, Seoyun Ji, Yelim Kim, Seongwi, Star Andrews, Amber Glenn, Audrey Shin and another spot to be determined for Japan. I wouldn't be surprised if this spot was filled by Rinko Watanabe who has an amazing triple axel but anything could happen since Japan has so many brilliant skaters. It's nice to see Star Andrews get a place in the Grand Prix considering what happened to her last year. Wishing her luck and hopefully her health and recovery journey continues to go well. This fight for the podium is another one that's wide open with Amber Glenn, Yelim Kim, Wakaba Higuchi and Kaori Sakamoto having the best chances. It will all come down to who's best on the day. The final competition which will determine who gets to go to the Grand Prix Final is Grand Prix Espo. Featuring skaters such as Luna Hendricks, Madeline Skisas, Ivalada Kibus, Linnea Cedar, Emmy Peltonen, Jenny Saarinen, Anastasia Gubanova, Manakawa Bay, Rika Kihira, Maimihara, Brady Tenel and Lindsay Thorngren. Like most of these events, this is very hard to call. This event includes a lot of skaters whose form we don't really know what it is like yet and a few new faces to the Grand Prix circuit. It will be really interesting to see how this goes. As of now, I'd say Luna Hendricks and my Mihara would be the favorites to win. There was something really surprising for me to see missing from the Grand Prix this year and that's Mariah Bell and Karen Chin. To my knowledge Mariah hasn't spoken much of what she wants to do next, but we wish her well. This also confirmed what many were thinking, Karen Chen is taking time out to focus on college, good luck to her. Although it's disappointing, that many of the top skaters will be missing and it probably won't feel the same, or at least very different, we still have a lot to be excited for. It's great to see so many new faces making their Grand Prix debuts. I hope they do well. This Grand Prix will be one of the most unpredictable in years and it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. Speaking of skaters who we will be missing. We are now starting to get a clearer picture on how this season will look like for Russian competitors. With the recent announcement of senior test skates set to take place from September 24th to 25th in Moscow. Junior test skates will likely take place in Novogorsk in mid-August as usual. We also have a better idea of how the Russian Grand Prix series will look like. Which is set to take place on similar dates alongside the International Grand Prix. Hopefully the timings won't clash. Their Grand Prix final will take place in Sochi from March 3rd to 6th. I don't think this schedule is 100% confirmed so I will keep you updated if there's any changes. As I mentioned earlier, Brady Tennell gave us an update on her condition in an interview not too long ago. Brady is now fortunately pain-free and is easing her way back into training, taking it one day at a time and seeing how it goes. She said quote, I would say that I am at 60% right now, she admitted. I'm getting back into the swing of training, and I am doing this for me. 
This is where I was meant to be. I feel at home on the ice. There is nowhere else I would rather be. I'm not exactly sure right now when I'm going back up because I will have to go and see Benoit first to get my programs done, she said. The way that my recovery has been and has to go, everything is day by day, so I really am taking it one day at a time. I can't get too far ahead of myself because I tried that last year, and it just didn't work out. We wish Brady well with the rest of her recovery and that she takes the time she needs. Fingers crossed, we will see her skating on the Grand Prix. Rike Kihira announced the return of her popular short program, The Fire Within. Hopefully this season will be what she wanted last year to be. Adelia Petrosian announced her new short program. She will be skating to Voila by Barbara Pravi. Audrey Shin showcased a segment of her new short program Yo Soy Maria de Buenos Aires. Choreographed by Pasquale Camerlengo. From what we've seen so far, this seems to suit her really well. Lindsay Thorngren announced both of her programs. Her short program is Concierto de Aranjuez. And for her free and amalgamation waltz slash often a bird slash nostos. Luna Hendricks announced both of her programs as well. Her new short is See Mama by Irma and Me Genevieve J Balvin, Willie William and Beyonce. She showed a snippet of her new short program on Instagram captioning it. Going out of my comfort zone, do you think this style will suit me? Well, I think it will. The last time she went out of her comfort zone like for her free skate last year it really paid off for her. She's a great performer. For her free she will be skating to Pota Roby Facanetti. Props to her for trying something new. Yelim Kim showcased her new short program Mercy by Hilary Hahn in an event. It's still a work in progress but there's so many beautiful details in it already. And for her new free skate Yelim will be skating to summer of 42. Rising junior star Jia Shin also showcased her new programs at this event. Short program, The Giving. Free skate, Oceana. Another talented junior chain Kim unveiled her programs too. Short program, Everybody Knows. Free skate, Poda. Here are some more programs we know of so far. Wow, this is all getting very exciting. It turns out there will be a lot of skating to watch and enjoy. Thank you all for your comments and support on the previous video like this. I'm so glad that it was helpful to so many people. If you'd like to see another video similar to this about another discipline, please comment and share, so I can know if people are interested in that. What are you most excited about this upcoming season? Thanks for watching, I can't wait to continue to watch this season develop and covering it with you.